As dealers reach out to millennials, it's important to know their buying habits are being shaped by the current state of the economy and relationships within their family if they're living at home. I think the thing with millennials, though, is we have to step back and recognize that this is a generation that came of age during a very tough economy and that a, a lot of what the, the data is reflecting, I think, is, a, is a, uh, really a product of necessity, of economic reality, and less of a fundamental shift in people's thinking. Now, the tricky part is understanding which is which, because I do think there's some attitudinal changes that are worth noting. But I think a lot of the buying preferences that we talk about, and we're already seeing some of this changing, by the way, as the economy is recovering, and you start to look at millennials as they come into the market, they get a job, they're actually acting a lot like they're the Generation Xers or whatever. It's not just the, the millennials that are different. I think it's their parents are a little different, too. So an example is they tend to make decisions with their millennial kids in a very collaborative way. So we talk about vehicles, it's really viewed as a family vehicle and there's a family discussion about the next vehicle. So it's, it's, it, there is a difference there and I think a lot of it has to do with the family structure, the relationship with parents, the way decisions are made, sort of this boomerang effect where millennials leave home and then they come back again. Obviously some of that's forced because of economic necessity, but I, I do think that there are some differences that are worth noting and will probably uh, have some longevity to them as well.